Hello everyone, Alpha Soul here and welcome to another video. Uh, today we're actually going to be talking about the Dev Discussion Series, the Dev Diary Series that was just started by uh, Intrepid Studios, specifically Lieutenant Toast. Now there's a link down below, you can find the where this thread is. It's actually a forum thread where Intrepid, Intrepid and Lieutenant Toast essentially asked uh, a question to the content community and that is uh, it's, uh, it's centered around memorable content. And the question is, what makes a quest memorable? And then are there any raids or events that you'll never forget? Uh, what made them unforgettable? Uh, so I'd like to take the time to do this video just to give my response to this. And I, again, wanna keep this quick and succinct so that you know we're not sitting here idling our hands. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So for the first part of the question, what makes a quest memorable? I kind of had to think around, I was really kind of just going through my head on what made a quest memorable. Because when I, when I really think of content and what makes MMOs memorable for that matter, uh, or you know makes them stick in my head, most of those scenarios have been player related. And what do I mean by that? I don't mean players who create their own quests. I mean the drama of players, but uh, you know, versus players, players between players, interplayer conflict. That is the most memorable items. I mean, when you think about it, 20 years ago within Ultima, I still remember a lot of the conflicts, a lot of the matches, a lot of the you know trials, tribulations, and just conflict in between players between that. But um, quests are another matter. I. It's, it's harder for me to remember quests just because I think that it's harder to create memorable content from quests. So with that out of the way, I can list, however, you know, quests that still ring to mind, right? And then I'll go on to answer the second part of the question. So overall, I think Star Wars The Old Republic uh, has a lot of memorable quests. Um, spoilers for those of you who have not played or plan on going through. Um, you know, they have many different sto class storylines in that game, uh, and they're all really good. I actually think The Old Republic, Star Wars The Old Republic, has probably the best um, storied content of any MMO, but that's kind of because it plays more like a single player uh, than it does an MMO. Um, but still, the things that I remember in the game are specifically, especially with like a Sith warrior, of rising the ladder and becoming, more, you know, progressively more powerful. Um, and then, you know, the, the NPCs and the players interacting with you. So I guess you could say the feeling of the escalating ladder as your character gains more notoriety, uh, gains more power within the world, and NPCs supposedly, you know, they act towards you differently. You know, at first you're an apprentice or an acolyte, and you know, while you're respected, you know, amongst uh, other non-Sith and other non-people, you know, within that organization, you're you're a worm within the Sith organization, and you know, nobody pays you any respect. Um, but as you continue and do more quests and as you advance up through the storyline you you get more titles you know you become you know the apprentice you go become a lord then you become a darth and the difference between how npcs interact with you is noticeable and so like even the quests that involve and you know kind of lead up to that are they're just amazing because they're within that star wars uh you know era and period as well too so it's like uh, for example, you know, when you convert your own apprentice, you know, that's a bit, that's a big thing as well, too. You know, when you go up against uh, your former master, you know, that's a big thing. And so those were memorable in my mind, but they were memorable, uh, you know, because of the progression. But they're also memorable because of kind of that whole feeling of the Star Wars universe. So I th really think it's important to kind of in-bake and have a, a, a universe around you to kind of... I guess you could say, uh, flavor the content and have it more meaning, so or have it have more meaning. And I think meaning is is very important when it comes to quest content and making it memorable. So let's go to the second part of the question, and that is, are there any raids or events that you'll never forget? Uh, yeah, this one, there are plenty of raids and events that I'll never forget. Um, again, I'm putting aside the player-made stuff right now because there are a lot of player events that again, I'll never forget. I remember those wars. I remember different conflicts across various games, whether it be in, even in EverQuest, uh, in Shadowbane. I remember the big ones in UO. I remember the big ones early WoW, uh, you know, when there would be Baron's raids and things of that nature. Um, yeah, there are a lot of those, but I'm gonna focus a little bit more on the, 
like raid content and stuff like that. For me, um, World of Warcraft has a lot of raids that I will never forget. I remember um, the safety dance stuck out to me. I really enjoyed that one. It was really unique in that everyone kind of had to follow this dance and memorize this dance. If you didn't, then you would die and it would be very apparent to everyone that you, you messed up. Um, that was a lot of fun. Uh, uh, the open of the opening of the gates, the Ankaraj gates. I remember that vividly, and the whole server-wide effort in order to uh, get those gates open. That was a really fun occasion uh, in World of Warcraft. Um, which other ones are you know kind of stick out to me? Uh, switching games for a minute here, you know, EverQuest. Actually, I do remember the oh, actually, one more from World of Warcraft that was actually pretty fun was, I think it, it was almost one of the first downings of Ragnaros and even going into Molten Core for the first time. But I think that was more memorable because it was like, this was like the first time 40 players all tackling, you know, um, raid content, if you will. And that was, that just kind of blew my mind on how that was in. So that was, that was really fun. Uh, um, and I think the, I, the final one that I'd probably mentioned that was really memorable was uh, going up against, I think Vox was her name in EverQuest for the very first time. Uh, that was really fun. Um, again, a lot of players kind of put together a lot of coordination. It's one of the first kind of raids. I think it was Vox. I'm pretty sure it was. She was an ice dragon, or was it Nagafen who came first? Um, I for, I'm forgetting which one came first, but those were pretty fun raids, and it was really fun to go into. Uh, so to answer that last part, I, I kind of hinted on it, but what makes them unforgettable? Um, in each of the instances, you can kind of see, well, part of it was, you know, it's the kind of the first time for all of us, uh, but a sense of epicness, if you will. One of the clear things that I've noticed that games kind of do today that isn't necessarily um, a bad thing but, but it kind of is, is when you went into these raids and you did these raids and you got the loot from them, that was a noticeable achievement. Like, especially very early on before it became farm or anything like that. It's, it was like you had that weapon, you know, when you had that hammer, the sulfurous hammer, you know, from, um, you know, from Molten Core, from Ragnaros, you know, you, that guy, you know, that guy went and he earned it. You know, you know that guy had it. Um, and so, uh, e you know, even with some of these older raids and like content and things of that nature, I really do think uh, the exclusivity of some of it really helps enhance kind of the mystique of it. Um, you know, and obviously it was a lot of learning curve to actually figure out how to get there and how to, you know, get it down to that point. But, you know, that kind of contributes to it. You know, if you're getting something and people know that you've earned it, then, you know, that's good. But if you're just jumping into an auto instant queue and you're getting it, it's like, you know, that's not really special at all. So I think part of the, the rewards of what you're getting and people knowing, you know, that you earned that reward is actually a big thing of making it unforgettable as well, too. So, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. That's that's my thoughts on uh, that particular question. I love these dev discussion series. Um, it's a great way to interact with the community, and I really do hope that they take some of the advice that, because people are leaving great comments. I, I highly suggest that you read through it, because a lot of people have some great info, info uh, there for what they consider memorable. But that's my take, all right? Thank you, guys. Take care of yourselves. You guys have a great day.